so uh, plastic waste management as i said that plastic can be segregated uh, for the brand auditing we did that recyclable and non cyclable uh, re recyclable waste so these are the different categories for of plastic which you can you know recycle and use but one thing one needs to remember be reminded of is that plastic cannot be recycled indefinitely so once it's there in the ecology once it's there in the system it will remain it's very difficult to you know um, uh, do anything about it once it's there in the system these are the different options for plastic waste management i have always uh, i have already spoken about uh, 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 this thing the blending with the bitumen and the other thing is that incineration if you want to dispose of plasma pyrolysis is happening but i think there are only two or three plants all over india that to an industrial level it's not happening at the city level this is very very expensive technology and uh, most of the urban local bodies they cannot afford to have neither they have the capacity and nor they have the skills or the money for that matter paper waste management you know how it done right segregation initial sorting and this is the process of making hand in paper okay a uh, waste to energy i have already spoken about little bit the biomethanation part and the most preferred part in uh, most preferred technology in indian case is incineration or biomethanation okay but there are if you see we have about eight systems all across all across india uh, in andhra pradesh to maharashtra to and these this is the different kind of waste to energy systems all across india these are the challenges as i said all waste to energy systems the most uh biggest challenge is to provide sorted waste which is very difficult in indian cities you can't provide uh, sorted waste in the required waste and obviously there are environmental impacts of these waste to energy if, if you are not employing any air pollution uh, method and obviously these are very expensive again okay so sanitary land we discuss about the landfills actually most of the cities are not landfill landfills those are dumping sites so there is a difference between landfills and the dumping site so these sanitary landfill means where the final and safe disposal of residual solid waste question ha huh. is a landfill a viable solution it's not as i said before it's not but then ultimately there be certain materials which you can't process or uh, reuse you have to ultimately dispose so yeah there are items in that uh, particular uh, uh, type which we can't dispose of yeah so what is the solution there is no solution you have to dispose of that's that's the only thing you can do as i said with plastic you can even if you you know convert it into and use it as a, a mixture with bitumen ultimately plastic is there floods will come roads will go away plastic will remain okay so there are certain things which you can't do away with it you have to dispose it in some maybe more controlled manner if not like openly you are throwing them away it's like more controlled approach to disposal and management um yeah so sanitary landfills i don't think so we have any example in india of sanitary landfills correct me if i'm wrong and these are the things uh, sanitary landfills have to take care of they have to take care of pollution of ground water surface water any air dust a uh, bad order fire hazard animal menace ghgs and persistent organic pollutant slopes instability and you know erosions sanitary landfills are necessary for any non biodegradable and inert waste mixed waste not found suitable for waste processing so these are the things that should go ultimately to landfills and these are the things that are not allowed to go to sanitary land obviously biodegradable waste should be preferably preferably composted dry recyclable and hazardous waste should be managed this is a typical diagram which is a recent uh, so, uh, cph eu manual also came out with and the solid waste management rules so these this is the uh, sanitary landfill how it looks like it has a layer so that leaches won't go it has a um, you know system here piping system so that leaches will be drained out in a controlled manner so these are the different component of sanitary landfill uh, so before shridhar starts the next session 
So we have spoken about integrated solid waste management planning which is multiple interventions at each step of the waste chain. So segregation, collection, transportation, disposal, it involves integration of multiple stakeholders. So informal sector is not outside the relief of government uh, or the value chain. It has to be incorporated within the formal uh, chain. It aims to reduce total volume of the waste that is reaching to the landfill. It optimizes resources and material recovery. So these are the few principles of integrated solid waste management. But is it possible? Can we do that? So LAP, as I mentioned that LAP ex experimented with the decentralized wastewater management. It experimented with no, no bin policy. So Shiridhar is going to talk about this efficacy of such kind of a model for small towns like LAP. Okay.